Ladies, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Our national treasurer to give us a Christian prayer and then we can begin. Let us pray. Please let us pray. Father, we want to give you praise. Father, we want to give you honor and adoration. In all things we say, we should give you thanks. This day, Lord, we give you thanks for what you have done for this nation, Ghana. And that, Father, through your grace and mercy, you granted us a new president-elect in the name of Nana Dudankwa Kufwadi. Father, we pray that you anoint him with your words. You anoint him with your spirit. Now, whatever Lord he has for this nation, from this day forth, we give it to your glory and honor. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ask for quiet and the people to stop the fire. Please, we want absolute quiet. And our people who are throwing the firecrackers, please suspend. The firecrackers, we are going to celebrate all night long. So there will be time for celebration after the president elect has delivered his speech. Please, thank you very much for your cooperation. Now, the president elect of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adodankwa Akufuadu. Thank you very much. This noise is coming from the outside. Yes. Yeah. 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 Police service, we beg you, please let those who are throwing up firecrackers outside the wall to suspend the firecrackers. Please help us to get people outside to suspend the throwing of firecrackers. Please, we beg you, Ghana Police Service, please help us to stop the firecrackers. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of the media, fellow Ghanaians. A few minutes ago, at 7.51 p.m. precisely, the President of the Republic and the NDC presidential candidate, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, called me on the phone to congratulate me on my victory in the presidential election of 7th December 2016. He wished me the best of luck and God's blessing and assured me of his full cooperation in organizing the transition from his administration to mine. I thanked him for this graceful gesture, which is in the finest traditions of Ghanaian statesmanship. And on my part, assured him of my cooperation for a successful transition. I also thanked him for his service to our nation and said that I felt sure that his contribution to the welfare of our republic was by no means over. 
I've also received words of congratulation from my other competitors, Mr. Ivor Greenstreet, our former First Lady, Nana Konedu Ajiman Rawlins, Dr. Papa Kwesi Indom, Dr. Edward Mahama, and Jacob Ose Yebua. I'm grateful to them. The chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Charlotte Ose, who is the returning officer for presidential elections, in fulfillment of our constitutional obligations, has tonight at 8.45 p.m. declared me the winner of the 2016 presidential election. With 5 million 16,026 votes, representing 53.85% of the valid votes cast. I'm grateful to her for the announcement and her words of congratulation. I thank Almighty God for his grace and favor in granting victory to the MPP and myself in this election. As his word says in the book of Holy Scripture, in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11, and I quote, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Amen. There has never been a more humbling moment in my life. And I thank you, the good people of Ghana, for this massive show of support and the confidence you have reposed in me and my party. I make this solemn pledge to you tonight. I will not let you down. And will do all in power to live up to your hopes and expectations. You are to be commended for the mature peaceful and orderly manner in which you once again exercised your democratic franchise. The democratic credentials of our nation have been further enhanced by your conduct. The Electoral Commission, under its new leadership, with Charlotte Osei in the chair, is to be congratulated for organizing this credible election. She and the commission have allayed the fears of many about their capacity to conduct a good election. This election has contributed to strengthening the principles of democratic accountability in our body policy. And the Commission will take a considerable part of the credit for that welcome outcome. Our security services are to be commended for ensuring a generally peaceful conduct of the poll and doing so in a professional manner. That is what the nation expects of them. To members and sympathizers of the great elephant family, yeah. to our illustrious 
former President of the Republic, His Excellency John Ajakum Kufo, to our founding members, leading figures, members of party organs, parliamentary candidates, and members of parliament, current and past national officers, regional, constituency, electoral area, and polling station executives, thousands and thousands of volunteers, polling station agents, Kufour era appointees, campaign officials and staff, so ably led by campaign manager Peter McMenu. And to my running mate, the next vice president, the next vice president of the Republic, Alhaji Dr. Muhammad Ubaumia, and his dynamic wife, Samira. I say a big thank you to each and every one of you for your hard work, commitment, and encouragement, and for your belief in me and in my leadership of our party over the past eight years. While this occasion would understandably lead to widespread jubilation amongst party supporters and sympathizers. I entreat them to respect the peace and the property and lives of everybody, especially those of our political opponents. We are the party of the rule of law, and we should act accordingly with magnanimity in our moment of victory. To the senior citizens of our country who have given me invaluable advice over the years, amongst them, the former President of the Republic, His Excellency Jerry John Rawlins, the former Secretary General of the United Nations, his Excellency Kofi Annan, Otunfo Osaitu II, Asante Hine, the former Chief of Defense Staff, General J.B. Dankwa, the Chairman of the NPP's National Council of Elders, the veteran statesman C.K. Tedham, and Captain Kojo Chikata, erstwhile PNDC member responsible for national security. I thank you for your counsel and for sharing your wisdom with me and hope I can continue to count on you during the challenging period ahead of me. To the numerous priests and imams who have prayed for my soul and who have taken the trouble to intercede with the Almighty on my behalf. Amongst them, Cardinal Emeritus Peter Akwesisapo, Right Reverend Asante Entry, Most Reverend Dr. Justice Akrufi, Right Reverend Emmanuel Mate, Apostle Opokunina, Bishop Yinka Safo, Pastor Mensa Otabil, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, the Reverend Victor Kusibwate, Venerable Hanson Adi, Venerable Joseph Lamte, Canon Noah Mensa, Canon Antonio Men Nelson, the Reverend Dr. Jonathan Aite Mensa. Very Reverend Emmanuel Kwabna Ai, the Chief Imam, His Eminence, Sheikh Dr. Osman Nuhu Sharabutu, the Ashanti Region Chief Imam, 
Sheikh Abdul Mumuni Harun, Reverend Anthony Kwejobwache, Reverend Isaac Owusu Bimpa, Reverend Ebenezer Adakwa Yado, Reverend Kofi Amponsa, and Prophet Gideon Danso, I am deeply grateful for your spiritual solidarity, of which I shall avail myself continuously now and in the future. I take this opportunity to thank you, members of the Ghanaian media, for your continuing engagement in the public interest of our country, your vigilance and activism are now bywords in the consistent efforts our people are making to carve a secure democratic future for themselves. Senior journalists like Abdul Malik Kukubakum, Gina Blay, Edward Fable, Ebo Kwansa, Ken Kranche, Kwame Sifakai, Samuel Atta Mensa, and Kwabna Kwachi, amongst others, have set admirable standards of professionalism and ethical conduct which should guide the younger generation. I want to thank the various observer missions who have assisted us to ensure a credible process for our election. I thank the Coalition of Domestic Election Observers, CODEL, under the chairmanship of the venerable former Supreme Court Judge, Justice VRAC Crab, for their important work and that of the observer mission of our regional body, ECOWAS, led by the distinguished Liberian statesman, Dr. Amos Sawyer, the observer mission of our continental body, the African Union AU, led by the respected former president of the Republic of Namibia, His Excellency, Hife Kepungi Pohamba, and the observer mission of the Commonwealth, led by the eminent African, the former President of the Republic of South Africa, His Excellency Tabo Imbeki, as well as the strong observer mission from our friends of the European Union and the National Democratic Institute of the United States of America, led by the former U.S. Assistant Secretary of State, the well-known diplomat, Ambassador Johnny Carson. They have assured us of the great importance the international community attaches to the growth of Ghanaian democracy. And to my beautiful wife, my beloved Rebecca, who weighs such a great campaign in her own right. My daughters, Jankroma, Valerie, Dokuya, my sister Marigold, my brother Edward, and my entire family. I firstly must apologize for taking you on this roller coaster ride. I am, however, very grateful for this love and support you have given me and for standing shoulder to shoulder with me through the years till now. Long may it so continue. Let me pause to remember colleagues who fell in the course of our campaign. Adams Mahama, Otanka Obechabilante, 
JB Dankwa Edu, Peter Riafe Prepra, Abubakar Sadiq, Pabna Buadu, and others. May their souls continue to rest in perfect peace in the bosom of the Almighty until the last day of the resurrection when we shall all meet again. Amen. Amen. Fellow Ghanaians, you have not elected me to serve one party, but to serve the entire nation. The president of Ghana is president for every single Ghanaian, without discrimination, malice, or ill will to any ethnic group or political or religious affiliation. Whether you supported me or not, whether you campaigned for me or not, whether you voted for me or not, I can promise you one thing. I will do my best to serve your interests and put our country back on the path of progress and prosperity. God did not put us on this rich land, a land blessed with an abundance of human and natural resources to be poor. I am confident and I have faith that with God's guidance and your active help they happen, where they happen, your most reliable news